The next few videos are going to go over the Twitter Bootstrap shortcode plugin that we've developed and how to use the shortcodes throughout your theme and all the different options. We'll start with the very first one, which is the accordion. If you click accordion, you'll see that it inserts the shortcode for you. So, as you can see, they have the title, the accordion content, and the section two and the section two content. So, if you want to add a third section, you just copy this, paste it, put the title in there. Accordion content three. When you save the page and then view it on the live site, you'll notice that you have three sections of content. So that's the jQuery accordion. There's not very many options that you can do with that one. It's pretty straightforward. Here's the the bootstrap. It's similar before. For this one, you need a unique name for each one, for here, here, and also the number, you just name them, which one you want opened. open. Say you want this one open, you just copy this down here. The accordions don't. really have too many options, they're pretty straightforward, so you can use those pretty easily. Let's see what the next one is. Next one is alerts. So, like with anything else, all the other short codes, you can change the color. These are all the bootstrap colors in the heading of the alert and the alert content. You can also do the width of the alert so if you add in width equals 50% it'll make it half the width of the page let's go ahead and add another one just so you can see the different sizes update it so you see that it goes 50% of the page. If you want it to go full width, just don't don't include the width. You can see all the different colors and really it's the the buttons. So you'll notice there's danger warning success. If you just change one of these the color label to whatever color you're looking for. It'll change the color of your alert. That's pretty much, those are the only options you you need with the alert short code. So let's move on to the next one. Next one is badges. So the badge is pretty straightforward. The label is what's going to be inside the badge. And again, you have all the different colors. The same as all the button colors. I think if you go into labels and badges, yeah, you can see all the different badge colors they have here. You notice if you just put success, warning, important, info, or, info or inverse, you'll get these different colors. If you leave it blank, it'll be this gray color. So right here, you just change that label to whatever color you need and that'll do it. So next section is buttons and we're going to start a new video because there's a lot of different button categories and different options you can do with the buttons.